Let's begin with a story coming from the overall resort town, which is a Mediterranean resort town of Cannes, France's fourth biggest cruise ship port. It will ban most polluting cruise ships from next year in a bid to boost air quality in the city. The ban will target ships that do not respect a 0.1% cap on sulfur in their fuel and could stop some passengers from disembarking in city the famous for its film festival. French Riviera city of Cannes announced in July, starting in January 2020, it would impose a 0.1% sulfur cap on the fuel used by cruise ships looking to dock in its port. At the risk of being banned from letting their passengers disembark, the initiative taken by mayor aims to deduce marine and air pollution to encourage environmental protection. Il ne s'agit pas d'être contre les croisières, il s'agit d'être contre la pollution. Et face à l'inertie totale, eh bien, euh, j'ai décidé de dire que euh, si je ne pouvais pas intervenir sur l'eau, puisque le maire n'a aucun pouvoir au-delà de 300 mètres, ces bateaux sont bien sûr bien au-delà de 300 mètres, eh bien de dire qu'on n'accepterait plus sur terre les bus, des excursions, euh, les, euh, les, 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 les croisiéristes venant de bateaux polluants. En droit, c'est un peu limite, mais euh, le fait d'assumer, y compris une polémique, potentiel a permis de travailler intelligemment avec certaines compagnies de croisière et aujourd'hui on est en train de gagner la partie. In July, Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings, which represents 40% of Cairns maritime traffic, along with local officials, signed a cruise charter agreement recognizing cruise line companies that adhere to restrictions and take steps to implement environmental friendly practices. Silversa Cruises CEO Robert Martinoli said, this is when, in interest of cruise ship lines to respect regulations that help to reduce pollution so as to preserve very places they take their passengers to. In 2015, a national French law fixed maximum sulfur concentration in maritime fuels to 3.5% and required vessels to use marine diesel if they plan to dock at port for more than two hours. Boasting 162 cruise stops and welcoming 370,000 cruise liner is a France's fourth largest cruise city. Just to give an example, this vessel is, uh, uh, was built uh, 20 years ago, more or less, and uh, uh, the engines back then, uh, they were built uh, in a different way. Uh, regulation had been improved and had been uh, you know, coming with the, the introduction of new technology to make the engine more efficient and to reduce the emissions. And uh, this year, uh, you know, at the end of the summer, we will go into our maintenance cycle, so the ship will be out of service for two or three weeks, and uh, we will implement changes to the engines to make them comply with the latest environmental regulation.